Hey, it's Mike and John from PumaPlow.com playing some more farming simulator today. On the Xbox here at, um, what is this? Happy Valley Farms? No. Versus Valley Farms? What's the real name? Westbridge Hills? Westbridge Hills, that's the one. Okay, so last time we showed you the modding pack, which was free. Yes. This time we're showing you the titanium equipment pack. Yes, and how much is it? It's $1.99. And you only get three things, which is kind of interesting but they're and all super useful holy crap this planter misses a lot you also don't have a front weight dude oh my tractor is spitting out just isn't saying it? okay you so can actually bring, you can bring out your uh oh, markers your, your arms yeah nice so what do we got today so this is the uh horse planter horse it does uh corn and sugar beets right so it's you know yeah replacement for the other one in the game that and does it's that. the cool part is it's nine meters instead so. of six so definitely help you cover some more ground, especially over here at Westbridge Hills. Yeah, it's a it's a big old beast yeah, of an. It looks like two things were slapped together. It kind of does here. Yeah. Let's let's stop and That's we will neat. fold it up. Yeah, I haven't seen this. Let's, see let's see, see how what it folds like. up here. Nice. Yeah, so it all comes in and it's real cool. Right. Yeah, I, I do need a front weight or probably a bigger tractor. Let's be honest. I, you're using an Ursus. So I'm sure it's fine. I, oh, but look at that! I started planting with it. And it does the full spread too. Yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> okay, anyway. So there's that. But that's pretty awesome. I yeah, mean, it's a bigger corn planter. That's one, the corn planter is one of the slowest things in the game. Yeah, I'm so, I'm happy about it. That's pretty awesome. I will have to watch the missing on the ends. Maybe it needs a quad tracker or something. Or, yeah, maybe bigger. just front weight. You know? Yeah, maybe front weight. I didn't think to put one on. Okay, next. So here's the other one. The coolest part. It has a beacon. So this just, is the Crone Swadro 2000, by the way. Yeah, it's right there. Says so it you, right there. Yeah, it has a wind rower. Uh, uh, it's how, a wind rower. How big is this thing? Um, it's pretty big. Holy cow! The only thing is, it's still not really big enough to do three. This sure. is this was harvested with a case uh, combine. Right. One of the big boys, of course. Yeah. Well, you can actually do three, can you? Maybe. Uh, you're getting part of it, but not all of it. The problem is my camera doesn't do much. Right. Enough. That's the other problem. But still. So it's still yeah, there. There, it doesn't do three if you just get it right. Yeah. Wow. And the best part is it has a beacon. This thing's huge. Yeah. Wow. So okay. that's pretty neat. Let's stop. Let's turn it off and let's fold this bad boy up because it's kind of cool. I like that they all three come up at different times, like uh -huh. on each side. Just saying. And those two fold in, and then wow. up goes it all. So this is a very long implement. It's pretty massive. Wow. It. it I mean, it goes down the road. Seriously, what do you have against front weights on this map? I, dude, I was like trying <laughs> to hurry to set all this up. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the next thing. Clock track. And will lag like dramatically. Okay. Okay. That I have noticed that with this new stuff, it makes this game like laggy. Huh. So this is the uh, new slurry tank. It's the Cot or Cotti? I don't know. It's massive. Okay. Garant VQ thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand liters. It's of, like they put the liters, the storage in the in the title of it. That's yeah. Pretty fancy. Thirty two thousand liters of liquid poo. Okay. So let's uh, first. You can spread just like on the other one with it folded up still. Right, sure. So let's do that with our four axles back there. By the way. Yeah, that's a pretty beefy machine. Yeah, we have talked about this machine in our let's plays uh -huh. quite a bit. So that spread's not too bad right. with it closed up. Right. All right. So let's stop and open it up. The spread's not probably much bigger than the in-game big one. Right. Let's we'll go look at it. I think it's uh, pretty similar here. Maybe a little bit bigger. But a lot bigger capacity. Yes. Dude. All right, so yeah, it's not too much bigger. I don't think. Spread this for a second here. It's uh. Yeah, lagging the lights. Don't we'll turn your lights on. Yeah, I know. So that's a pretty good spread. Yeah, it is. And I'm actually curious if I go all the way. I'm on field uh, 15, 15 here. right. So it's a good sized field. Sure. How far do I get? I wonder. We started is... at 32. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go all the way to the north end of the field here. Uh-huh. So, I mean, we're almost there. This is a big piece of, of equipment. Yeah, this thing is massive. That's why I picked the quad track. Right. I don't know that you really need it. The Ursus would probably pull it, but that would look dumb. I think it looks good behind this thing. It does. So, they're they're both about the same size, you know. Yeah, you probably need something bigger than, like, a Schluter. Yeah. Or the small Deutsch, which we both like. You know, those kind of tractors. Yeah, you need something pretty massive. A case Magnum, maybe. Yeah, maybe, actually. The, maybe, like, the big Deutz, the big Schluter, those kind of things. Yeah. So, All right, so we're almost here. So you used about 10,000. You missed a little bit, so maybe 12,000 or something. Yeah, that's not too bad. No, that's not bad. That's, yeah, and I'm uh, only at 67, so I could go Yeah, for a ways. and a half, maybe. 
Which is a lot better than the in-game one. Definitely. Here, let's go uh, do a little comparison here. Okay. Real quick. If I could find it. Right here. So the in-game only holds 19.5. Right. And this one holds 32. It's quite a bit more expensive, though. Yeah. But it might be worth it. I didn't didn't actually realize it until right now. That thing is really expensive. Yeah, it really is. Wow. Okay. Right. So, so we'll show you what else is in the pack here. Just down here. So there's the the corn planter. Totally worth it. 85, yeah, it's worth it. If you're going to plant any kind of amount of corn, that thing's worth it. The only problem now is front uh, fertilizer. Yeah. You're going to have to over-fertilize it, but, you know, whatever. No, yeah, that's true. Because the, there's no 9 meter. That's true, that's true. Or, you know, fertilize on your own. Or use liquid. Yeah, yeah or use this for liquid. Right. Exactly. So anyway. Here's the, uh, the chrome. 19 meters, huh? That's pretty awesome, isn't it? How big is the uh, other one? How down? I didn't buy that. 12.5. Wow. wow. Holy cow. That is quite the improvement. That's And then that's this is huge. the one from, uh, you know, last video. That's the uh, free one, right? Yeah, it's the free one. This nice. is the paid. It's uh, a little bit more expensive, of course, but yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. No, it's, it's well, it's worth the extra to me. I agree. So. Sure. That's that so, pack, basically. Especially on, like, a grass field that's not wind at all to start with. That'd oh, yeah. huge. Yeah, that's true. Like, if you're cutting grass, but it's not being wind Oh, yeah. That'd be huge, man. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, well, that's the uh, Titanium Equipment DLC. Yep. So uh, until next time, we're Mike and John from Pumaplow.com. See ya. Tickles.